In today's video, I'm going to be counting down a list of the top 5 most annoying characters in Injustice 2. Now this is purely my own list, so they are characters I personally find annoying, and if you disagree with my list or have a list of your own, make sure to leave your top 5 most annoying characters to play against in Injustice 2 in the comments below. This also isn't a video expressing my hate towards them or uh, requesting a buff or a nerf or something like that. If someone's mains on here, no, I don't hate your character, I respect who you main, you guys can play who you like. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. First off, I'm going to throw in an honorable mention in here at the 6th spot, and that is Deadshot. And the reason I'm not putting him in the main top 5 characters is because I personally don't find him annoying to fight against, nor has he really given me any problems before and after the patch. And I know if I didn't include him, you guys will be raging at me more than you rage at the actual game. For a lot of beginners or people who just like to play fighting games for fun and not really commit to learning a character and what they're all about, his zoning can be pretty annoying to deal with. Sometimes the opponent will feel helpless and since Deadshot is currently a popular character played right now, it can get quite annoying to constantly run into the same type of player over and over again. Alright, so the fifth character on this list is Superman. The Superman salt has been around for a long time in the Injustice community, especially when Superman was the winner of EVO of 2013 in Injustice 1. Oh nice. Gets him with the interactable. There we go. DJT just like that. He's trying to even it up with unbreakable damage. And he's just trying to chip from far away right now. Superman has a super. Oh, he didn't punish that Lantern's might. Oh. This is a chance, of, but watch out for interactable. I'm sorry, for, for a wager. Yeah, I like just ending it. Oh, oh. life lead, not quite. He, he needs to make something happen right now. It's so close. Only five seconds left right now. I think he has life advantage. Not anymore. Can he get in? Oh. No. Punish on the whiff. That was so close. KDZ game one in a three out of five set. The crowd, <laughs> the crowd booing KDZ right now. I do not think they want to see Superman win. So what exactly makes Superman annoying? Well, I think it's because of the fact that he has everything to work with while putting in little effort as some may say. He's safe on practically all of his moves, he has good zoning, and his damage is strong. But what really makes Superman in this game, or Injustice in general, is his forward 2-3. He can literally pressure you so much and it gets really tricky to know how to poke out of it and when to poke out of it. Yes, I know there are ways to poke out of it, I'm not saying it's impossible for the forward 2-3, but it's only for some characters. Some characters can't poke out of it and they have to rely on either avoiding it or using the push block mechanic. Sometimes when I'm in a corner or in any position for that matter actually, I might want to use an armored special move that I have, but it's all taken away when he has his trade out which breaks all of my armor, and that can get really annoying. The fourth character we have here is Darkseid. Boy, can those eye lasers get really, really annoying. He basically has full screen zoning at a cost of one input, and what this zoning does to me, and I'm sure to many players, is that I just feel paralyzed in a fighting game. I can't really jump consistently because the lasers will hit me, and the only thing I can do is duck under the zoning, but then you've got to think if he's going to do a teleport and do that slam move that he has, if so, when is he going to do it, is he going to fake it, and all that crazy stuff. The good thing about it is that when the enemy dark side screws up, you can do a combo that would do a lot more damage than usual since he has low defense, but man does it really hurt when he gets in on you. So knowing that you'll be bodied if you screw up one time and then going back to being paralyzed or having that feeling of being paralyzed by his zoning can be really frustrating. Number 3 is Cheetah. Now I actually respect these Cheetah players because I feel like she's an underrated character and she's secretly top tier. A lot of people don't look at Cheetah when it comes to really strong characters, so I kinda get salty when I play against her but I kinda don't because it's all cool stuff when it's done. Anyways, what annoys me the most is that I don't know when to block, and due to Cheetah not being popular or being a popular character right now, I'm really not familiar with the matchup, and the thought of not knowing what I'm up against is an absolute nightmare. With characters like Deadshot or Batman, I know what I'm up against. With Deadshot, they're most likely going to try and zone me out, so I'll pick Supergirl. With Batman, either they'll zone me out with his batterings, or they'll jump around like the Easter Bunny, so I'll pick someone like Supergirl, Batman, or Superman. With Cheetah, I'm not even 100% sure if my character is a good matchup against her, so I feel the exact same way that some players do when they feel helpless against Deadshot zoning. For me, I feel so helpless against Cheetah and terrified to an extent that I kind of want to keep my distance away from her, but every time I do that I get chased down and I actually feel like I'm being hunted down by an actual Cheetah. 
That's both a good thing and a bad thing. Second to last that we have here is Aquaman. Aquaman is mainly a defensive character and his trait pretty much describes it but he's also got a lot of other good options like his tentacle strike and the range on some of his strings are pretty great but most importantly you cannot ignore the trident rush. Oh my god is it so annoying to play against when your opponent does this. Now I'm not saying that the opponent shouldn't do this and I'm not saying that it's the wrong way to play Aquaman that's not the point. It's one of his most useful things to win games but it suffers from the same thing with Dark side, I feel paralyzed. I feel like as if I can't move throughout the match. Luckily though, Aquaman has been nerfed pretty hard so it isn't a big issue as it used to be, but you still kind of feel it when you play against Aquaman. Finally, at number one, we have Batman, and I'm going to be honest, I really don't have much to say about this. There is only one thing that annoys me about Batman that caused him to be number one on this list because it just drives me insane in my head, and that is his jump to. Oh man, is this thing tricky to read and annoying once he lands the hit because it opens up crazy damage with his batterings and continuing mix-ups. All of that is made possible by one little, very little thing. And again, that is his almighty jump to. There you guys have it. Be sure to let me know in the comments below which characters in Injustice 2 make you want to bang your head against the wall. You guys can act like therapists to one another and talk about your frustrations in Injustice 2. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and let's see if we can reach 100 likes. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this to come. Anyways, my name is Bros Productions and I'm out for now.